Tamian, and guess who's coming to the Hanover Theater? It's Leonard Skinner. Ed, thank you, thank you, my friend, for bringing one of my favorite all-time rock bands. No, no, thank you, Lisa, <laughs> for having such a venue as the Hanover Theater where we can bring these mega stars. Oh my God, I'm so completely excited. And you know, I was talking to people about this particular band. Yeah. People of all ages love songs like Sweet Home Alabama, and they love that song because they've seen it in the movies as well as when they were listening to it on the on their car radio you know, back in a, the day. There's a, there's a few songs out there that really deserve the word iconic. Totally. And things like Sweet Home Alabama and Freebird, oh, yeah. those will go keep going and being played long after you and I are long gone. I know. I know. I know. So you have some experience with Leonard Skinner. Yeah, actually, I, I've done them up in um, Maine. I did them, where else did I do them? But more importantly, back, believe it or not, January of 06 or 07, I did them at the, then, uh, it was the Centrum. Oh, yeah. I remember it. It was Martin Luther King weekend. We had like 7,000 people in the house. Wow. And it was like, off the wall. So oh. now to be able to bring them back into a theater like the Hanover, if you're into Southern Hard Rock, oh and yeah, you think you like Skinned, oh yeah, this is what we call up close and personal at the Hanover. Oh yeah, and because... you know we just went on sale a couple days ago. Uh, there are still some seats available, but this is they're not going to hang around long. And no. I don't normally say that, but. It's going to be a night to remember. It is totally going to be a, light, a night to remember. And, you know, there's a big difference between 2,300 seat capacity mm. and five to 10,000 seats. So literally, for a concert like this, you can be in the last row of the upper Doesn't balcony, matter. and the sound is going to fill the theater, and you're going to be rocking on like you were in the front row. It's not only the fact we'll have 4,000 less people there, whatever, but it's the venue itself. Yeah. It's the intimacy. It's the sound. It's just... The experience. Oh, yeah. So, dis- so but dis- October 3rd, Thursday night, downtown will be rocking in Worcester. Yes, it will. And so describe what you think the audience is going to see a little bit, you know? They, they, they do some classics. They do new stuff. They just had an album come out. Uh, actually, now it's been almost a year ago. Oh. Uh, Last of a Dying Breed. Or, and... You know, they just, anything you want to hear, they seem to deliver. And these guys aren't up there just snoozing away. They they get into it. You'll think they're playing Gillette Stadium (laughs) the way they just, you know, all all the guys, Ronnie Van Zant, uh, Gary Rosington, et cetera, et cetera, down the road is just, you know, it's skinned. Well, because you're going to be at the Hanover Theater, you're not going to think what you're saying. You're going to think they're playing for you, just you alone. No, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's a great experience. It's good music. It's good, solid American music. And so when I got the chance in the routing uh, to bring them back here, I said, the Hanover. Oh, Hanover's yeah. Hanover's been five years plus, and obviously Skinner has never been in the house, and that will now change. I can't wait. And, you know, so tickets are really, I think, pretty reasonably priced for a concert like this. And more information is available at thehanovertheater.org. But we do have some very, very limited VIP seats. Do you want to tell people what's included in those? Yeah, what we're doing is um, at the Hanover, there's two rows we call the pit. <clears throat> so when we say they're the first two rows, that's exactly what that we mean. Those tickets are going to be sold uh, with a skinned CD. We're going to give you a voucher for a uh, cocktail. If you're underage, you can have a soda. (laughs) That plus being right up front, it's certainly a night you will not remember forget oh, i don't know some people no, might not remember it but that i don't remember it either so i don't know what your story is but no it's going to be it's great so if you want to step up to the plate one time 
yeah. go for it. Yeah, absolutely. This band doesn't come around that often where we can say, well, don't worry, we'll have them back next year. Absolutely. No. And, you know, to think about it, they had a catalog of over or have a catalog of over 60 different albums. I don't know if people really realize that. No, it goes back to the days of the 70s. Uh, and they've had a couple new members come and go, of course. But, yeah. Um, it's just music. Whenever you hear it, you don't, you don't say, oh, well, who's that? No, these are Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. It's Skinhead. Right. Yeah, Hall of Fame was uh, March of 2006 they were inducted. Mm-hmm. So uh, actually that was right after the DCU Centrum show we did. So yeah, they're going on seven years of being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, this is going to be just a rockin' show. I will totally be there. Good. <laughs> See if you can find me. I'm going to be the one that's dancing the, the hardest and loudest, probably. Well, <laughs> to the folks listening on the radio, if you see a lady that's jumped on stage dancing, it could be Lisa <laughs> from the Hanover because she had backstage access. Woohoo! Sweet home. No, what it's happens true. when you sh- when you show up at the Hanover? <laughs> you never know. There's something for everyone. Exactly. So no, Thursday, October third, seven thirty. Skin it rocks the house. Absolutely. So we will see you there. And Ed, thanks again for bringing great, great music to the Hanover Theater, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. I look forward to it. Thanks, guys. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.